Andres Montenegro is a faculty member of the IPFW Department of Visual Communication and Design. He has just returned from a trip to the Annecy Creative Focus Festival in France, where he debuted his new animation short film, The Little Quest of Petrovsky. And he's here to tell us all about that experience, as well as the new technology he used, a combination of stop motion and computer-generated animation in this production. Welcome, Andres. Hi, Melinda. I'm glad to have you here. Mm -hmm. You know, seeing the the pictures of this little short film and the images in it, that is just it's such a fascinating little glimpse into mm -hmm. into this short film. You know, uh, congratulations on having this accepted into this uh, this festival. You know, uh, tell me about what is the Annecy Creative Focus Festival. Okay, well, uh, the Annecy uh, Creative Focus is a uh, sort of uh, branch of the main festival of uh, Annecy, the International Animation Festival. Uh, what is doing the Creative Focus is basically to help uh, to uh, animation artists to uh, start a production of uh, the animation short from the ground. Okay. So they found the producer, then basically do the uh, distribution and the promotion of this. And the most interesting thing is that this uh, uh, creative focus is inside the context of the uh, MIFA, or M-I-F-A, which is uh, the International uh, Animation uh, Film Market, which is a perfect and uh, wonderful opportunity for artists to uh, participate is, uh, with the productions in this international market. So it's, it has a, an, a, an interesting projection in that way. So it gets the creative people like you in touch with the producers to actually bring your ideas exactly. to the market. Exactly. You know, your, your project, The Little Quest of Petrovsky, it was selected from how many f films? Yeah, actually this, uh, this uh, year version uh, received uh, uh, 263 wow. entries, wow. and uh, there were actually uh, uh, seven categories. Uh, the category of uh, uh, short film, uh, long feature, uh, uh, TV series, and uh, my uh, one uh, was the, the short film. A short film. Yes, and um, this uh, selection uh, was among the uh, 150 uh, participants. And my prize was selected among those. It's, so you've won this prize, and what does that mean? What what does the prize get you? It's it's interesting because the prize is a residence prize, and then I a I'll residence I'll prize. A residence so what prize. does that mean? Uh, I'll I'll have uh, a sort of uh, three weeks uh, uh, stay in Paris, uh -huh. working with uh, uh, Double Metro Animation, uh, which is the company that pick up this project. And so uh, I will uh, work with them in the uh, making of the project, combining the uh, different te techniques that I will provide and basically the technique that they will provide. So in this uh, project, we will uh, combine uh, the CGI, uh -huh. uh, computer-generated images, and stop motion, which is actually the most interesting feature of this uh, production. Right, so you submitted this kind of work in progress, it's uh, so to speak, and then yes. you are, you know won the prize. You'll go to Paris, mm -hmm. and when are you going to go and do this? In December of this and year. And so will you finish it while you're there? You'll hone it. You'll get it to a certain yes, spot. Yes, uh, it, it, it will be it, the, the the film, the short film, will be distributed in Europe, and then I will participate in the NSC version of the next year. Okay. And I I am pretty I'm pretty positive that this. Uh, film will be presented here in Fort Wayne and IPFW oh and that will be a to perfect opportunity. Project. Exactly. So it, it, tell me, what is this film about? Well, it's uh, actually uh, a nice uh, interpretation or kind of uh, combination of art and animation. Uh, the film is based on the uh, work of uh, Balthasar Klosowski, the roller, which is his name is Baltus. And uh, the, is the story is about a guy that uh, has a sort of quest in order to find or have a rendezvous, a sort of uh, encounter with a mysterious lady. Ah, <laughs> so it's always about love, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. And uh, But the guy himself, Petrovsky, is a sort of clumsy character, uh -huh. but it's, it, it was oriented toward the, the uh, kids' uh, environments so to see the kids. It's kind of very kids oriented because it's a clumsy character. He's wearing a coat and a hat. It's very funny at yeah. the same time. So, and at the end of the the, the short, uh, the painting, 
which is actually based this animation, is revealed as a sort of a very dramatic end. I see. And then that was the most interesting uh, content uh, that uh, the French producer found in this project because it's creating the bridge between animation and art. Right. And it's based on art. It's so based it, on it brings art. it all around. So this is started as your interpretation of this mm -hmm. painting and, exactly. and some others, too. And so that's where you well, got in, that. In fact, I have uh, uh, in this uh, a short pay tribute to uh, two great artists. In, in this case, uh, Klosowski de Rolla, Balthus, and Robert Crumb. And Robert Crumb oh, is interesting yeah. because now he's living in southern France. Uh -huh. and this is one of the American artists that very uh, well very is well, very well admired by French uh, uh, culture, yeah. actually. Well, we have a little clip of mm -hmm. I, your work in progress mm -hmm. here. So maybe we can get that up on the screen and you can, there's no um, audio to it, so you can just tell us what we're seeing. It, it's basically uh, when the clip is showing, this is showing the uh, street. It's uh, based on the painting of uh, Baltiste the Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see there the, 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 the characters. Uh, there are a few characters, but it basically represent what the painting is uh, uh, depicting. And so I actually create or make the uh, reenactment of the painting, but in the animated version. So I create the, the uh, actually the uh, scenarios uh -huh. and the characters, uh, all of them uh, develop in uh, 3D in the computer graphics. Uh, okay, s so you, you've, you've gotten it to this point, and now it, you know, it's won this prize, so it's been picked up by, is it French producer? I yes, mean, a French were producer, they all? Okay. Yes. So I, we also have a little clip of the interview mm -hmm. of the producer. Mm -hmm. So let's kind of watch that to get the producer's viewpoint okay. on that as yeah. well. So if we, can, if we can see that, that'd be great. What do you think about your work with the Kiwi? Qu'est-ce que je pense mm -hmm. Ah ben je suis très contente, euh, je pense que c'est un beau travail d'équipe. Oh uh, uh, Very good team. Oh, uh, excellent. And, uh, everybody is, uh, I think, everybody is very happy to, to work uh, with, uh, with uh, this uh, project. Uh, I am uh, very happy. <laughs> oh, great. And, uh, well, everything is okay. For, for the moment, everything is uh, doing uh, very well. Uh, and uh, so... <laughs> OK. Merci, Isabelle. Uh, Florian, qu'est-ce que vous pouvez uh, uh, dire uh, à nous uh, vers le travail avec le Petrovsky, uh, le, le film uh. Alors, sur le... On sait, genre, donc, j'ai rencontré Andrés sur son projet The Little Quest of Petrovsky. Et je trouve le projet très intéressant parce qu'on va pouvoir faire un, un mélange de différentes animations, parce que l'animation c'est ça, c'est de la cuisine, de l'animation en CGI computer avec du stop motion. Et voilà, je suis très heureux de participer à, à ce projet. Voilà, il y a Pito qui me plaît beaucoup. Et euh, de, de s'être rencontré donc justement à Annecy pour parler en vrai, parce que ce qui va être intéressant, c'est qu'on est très loin. Et on va quand même, je pense, réussir à faire un film très proche, intimiste. Ok. Parce que Balthus est une peinture intime, et voilà, et voilà, je pense que ça va être très très bien. Ok. <laughs> That's great to see the people who are so interested. Yeah. And I love it. Now, the thing that he mentioned there is this combination of the CG and stop motion. Mm -hmm. So tell me how you came up with that idea to merge them and what it, it really means as, as part of this project. Um, the company is the, uh, Double Metre Animation. It's uh, uh, the company that uh, is owned by uh, Florian Duval, which is the producer. And this company develops basically stop motion animations. Okay. And, and, and he made some of uh, a very interesting. the traditional like clay, clay animation, animation that we've seen? Okay. Animation, okay. Yes. Like and Gumby uh, was. Or right, something like or that. Wallace or a and long Gromit. Time ago. Or <laughs> right, Gr yes, that's <laughs> Wallace newer. and Gromit. I'm yeah. showing my age. And uh, <laughs> the interest of the, this producer about my project is because uh, the combination of this uh, beautiful craftsmanship of mm -hmm. stop motion combined with 3D. And it's going to be a very, very uh, interesting uh, endeavor to develop this technique because uh, usually you will see computer generated or uh, 3D animation uh -huh. guys right. interacting with puppets and uh, figurines. So that's actually the, 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 the main goal of this project. 
So th that it's 3D, though, you don't have to wear special 3D glasses, do you? No, no. It's be, when, when we say that 3D is basically rendering mm -hmm. and uh, m uh, computer modeling, okay. basically. Uh, but the most interesting technique of this is how to match the two uh, motions, so uh -huh. stop motion and the computer generated, which is actually the animation made in 3D in, <laughs> with the software. So how long does it take you to do this? It's probably seven minutes. Seven minutes to create? Uh, no, the, 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 oh, the, the, oh, the, the, whole the, the film the is film. seven minutes seven. long. But, but how much time have you put in it thus it far? It's, it's a long time, it's a long time uh, production. This. So I actually, this is a kind, kind of a second sequel of this idea. Uh -huh. So I've been working with this uh, many years. And finally, oh, wow. this is the opportunity to actually uh, produce and yeah. uh, show this. Show it to the world. Exactly, yeah. So when do you think the project will be ready for all of us to see? I don't very, I'm very positive that this project will be uh, finished on December, this December. Oh, yeah. that's going to be very yeah. soon. And so it, will it be shown locally and nationally, internationally? It will be, I think it, it will be shown locally. And my uh, interest is to show this in, in uh, the next uh, Annecy uh, uh, Festival. Oh, the, the finished in project. Uh, exactly, in 2014. And also to show it here in Fort Wayne and uh, in IPFW. And at IPFW, because mm -hmm. with being at the Department of Visual Communication and Design. And this is a very interesting opportunity. Right, for because students to learn that. Exactly. And if they want to get more information about this project or you or the classes that you teach, I think we've got some information up on the screen about how they can get a hold of you. But this is just a very interesting and fascinating little piece of film history that's being made right here. So right. congratulations. Thank you, Melinda. Th thank you for being on the show, yeah. Andres. I'm Melinda Haynes with the IPFW College of Visual and Performing Arts. Please join guest host John O'Connell next time on Arts Weekly when he'll feature a panel of local theater directors about their upcoming seasons. Tune in to meet Tom Hoffrichter from First Presbyterian Theater, Philip Colglazer from Fort Wayne Civic Theater, Brian Wagner of Arena Dinner Theater, and Lauren Nichols from All for One Productions. For up to the minute arts updates, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And be sure to join us here live Thursday evenings at 7.30 on PBS 39. Thank you for watching. The preceding program on PBS 39 was made possible in part by Arts Weekly, celebrating regional expression, performance, and creativity, is brought to you in part by the Edward D. and Ione Auer Foundation, the Ian and Mimi Rowland Foundation, the family of Dr. Christopher and Kirsten LaSalle, and the support of viewers like you. Thank you.